everyone and welcome to another video on generative AI by Edureka. Today, we are exploring three of the hottest tools on the market. Open AI Sora, Runway and Pika Labs. In the next few minutes, we are going to uncover what makes each of these topics unique, how they are changing the way we create visual content and which one might be the perfect fit for your creative needs. But before we begin, Make sure to subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also do check out the Gen AI Masters training program on the Edureka's website. If you are looking to master the principles of generative AI and apply them in the real world applications, this is the perfect course for you. Edureka's generative AI course covers Python programming, data science, artificial intelligence, natural language processing, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT and so much more. Check out the course link in the description box below and enroll today and dive into the fascinating world of generative AI to elevate your career to the next level. Alright, artificial intelligence has come a long way in transforming ideas into visuals. You might remember when text to image models like DALI captivated our imagination. Now that technology has evolved to the point where we can simply type a description and watch an entire video come to life. Today. We will see how these advancements have been applied by three different tools, each with their own twist on the technology. So let's begin with OpenAI Sora. Sora is built on cutting-edge diffusion transformer technology that refines initial, noisy video sequences into clear, detailed clips. This model can generate videos up to 60 seconds long and comes with exciting features such as a remix and story ports, which allow you to tweak and reimagine your creative ideas with ease. Sora is available through ChatGPT Plus and GPT Pro subscription with varying resolution options and quality tiers to suit different needs. Its impressive ability to produce realistic visuals make it a strong contender for those looking to achieve a cinematic look without a studio setup. Next, we turn to Runway. Known for its emphasis on cinematic quality, Runway's model is designed to deliver natural camera movements and fluid motions that truly feel like they were shot on film. This platform combines sophisticated diffusion techniques with proprietary enhancements to simulate dynamic, real-life camera angles and transitions. In result, the tool produces short, movie-like clips perfect for those who want their content to have a polished, professional feel. For creators with a keen eye for detail and desire for the extra cinematic touch, Runway offers an experience that stands out in the crowded world of AI-generated video. And the next tool is Pika Labs, a platform celebrated for its speed and ease of use. Pika Labs allow you to generate creative, vibrant videos quickly, making it an ideal choice for social media content and quick creative experiments. What sets Pika Labs apart is its intuitive interface that supports both text and image prompts, giving you a flexible way to bring your ideas to life. While its outputs lean towards a more stylist, artistic flair rather than pure photorealism, Pika Labs excels in delivering energetic and engaging visuals that are perfect for capturing attention online. Now, let's see those tools in action with a head to head comparison. We fed all three the same prompt. And here is the prompt. And my experience with OpenAI Sora was absolutely superb. The video Sora generated was smooth and glitch free. The cat's texture was rendered with impressive detail. Every strand of fur, every nuance in the color and the subtle reflections in the background were captured perfectly. The movement was fluid, making the entire scene look incredibly realistic. Next, when I tried Runway, the colors looked good at the first glance, but it was clear that the output was distinctly AI generated. Although there was natural movement and dynamic camera work, the texture of the cat and overall details just didn't do justice to the prompt. The video had noticeable glitches that made it feel less defined than the Sora output. I appreciated Runway's cinematic approach, but its final result simply couldn't match the quality of Sora's video. Next, I experimented with Pika Labs. While I like the creative approach of Pika, the end product left a bit to be desired. The cat's face in particular didn't capture the true essence of the subject and the colors were just okay, not quite as vibrant as Sora's. Additionally, the movement in Pika's video could have been smoother. Although it provided an interesting interpretation of the prompt, it wasn't as polished or detailed as the output from Sora. And with this, 
we have come to the end of this video on OpenAI Sora versus Runway versus Pika Labs. To wrap it up, we can say that OpenAI Sora is your pick for photorealistic detailed videos from Sora Motion. Runway offers a cinematic touch with dynamic camera movements, though it lacks some texture refinement. Pika Labs shines for quick creative videos, but it doesn't quite match the details and realism of the others. Depending on your needs, each tool has strengths, so choose Sora for its realism. Runway for its cinematic flair and Pika for its speed and creativity. So what do you think? Which of these tools do you think is most likely to transform video creation in the years to come? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.